Now that you have a background in the principles of electricity, let's take a look at how electricity is used in the salon. Electric current is used to create three kinds of effects during cosmetology services. Heating effects like a curling iron or dryer, mechanical or magnetic effects like clippers, massagers, and electrodes, and electrochemical effects when electric current travels through a water-based solution in order to produce relaxing or stimulating results. Not only does electricity keep salon appliances running, it also provides the energy for cosmetology services known as electrotherapy. Electrotherapy is the application of special currents that affect the skin in certain ways. Electrotherapies include galvanic and Tesla. Not shown are ferratic and sinusoidal. Galvanic current has electrochemical effects and is the oldest form of salon electrotherapy. Galvanic current uses direct current. Since only alternating current is available in the salon, the wall plate must have a rectifier to convert the alternating current to direct current. Tesla, high frequency current, known as the violet ray, is an alternating current treatment that produces heat. Tesla current can produce relaxation or stimulation, depending on the method of application. There are three methods for using Tesla current, direct application, indirect application, and general electrification. With the direct application method, the salon professional applies the electrode directly to the client's scalp or face. When using the indirect application, the cosmetologist hands the glass electrode to the client before activating the current. This avoids the possibility of an electric shock that could result in passing an active current from one person to another. The client holds the activated electrode while the cosmetologist manually stimulates the area being treated. When finished, the current is turned off before the client returns the electrode to the cosmetologist. Sparking is another type of Tesla or high frequency current that is used during a facial to stimulate the skin and destroy germs and bacteria. The electrode is held close to the surface to allow the transfer of sparks to the blemished area. With general electrification, the cosmetologist hands the electrode to the client before activating the current. The power is switched on and a generalized tingling or vibration effect is felt by the client. Refer to your textbook for information on phoratic and sinusoidal current. Even when you are seeing the light, you're really missing most of it. That's because light is composed of waves, and only 12% of these rays are visible to the naked eye. The balance of sunlight is invisible. 80% is composed of infrared rays, and 8% are ultraviolet rays. White light, or visible light, produces a rainbow when it passes through a prism. The wavelengths that produce red are the longest waves of the visible spectrum. Two kinds of light in the salon produce white light, fluorescent light and incandescent light. Fluorescent light is an economical and long-lasting light source. It can create blue or cool tones in the objects it lights and, for salon use, should be balanced for daylight. Incandescent light is provided by an ordinary light bulb. Salons need a balance of fluorescent and incandescent light to produce a pleasant psychological effect on staff and clients. Cosmetologists use invisible rays of light to produce beneficial effects on the skin. Infrared light produces heat and is used during a facial to increase circulation and gland secretions, relax muscles, and stimulate cell and tissue activity. The client's eyes must be covered when infrared light therapy is performed. Ultraviolet light rays are the shortest light rays in the spectrum. They can produce positive and negative effects on the skin depending on the exposure time. Small doses of ultraviolet light can tan the skin and kill bacteria that cause skin infections. But overexposure to ultraviolet light can also produce skin cancers. The current trend of tanning booths and styling salons poses serious questions for the professional cosmetologist. When using ultraviolet rays for light therapy treatments, you and your client should wear protective eyewear. Every salon service is dependent on electricity to provide balanced lighting for a pleasing and workable salon environment, to power appliances, and to be the key ingredient for electrotherapy treatments.